Where does love come from? You know, love is a, an interesting thing. We use that word to describe a, a lot of different things. You know, we might say, you know, I love my children. I love God. I love my, uh, my job. I love chocolate chip cookies. Um, and certainly, uh, we kind of use the word in different settings. Obviously, we don't love chocolate chip cookies as much as we love God. And so, what exactly is love? Where does love come from? Well, the Bible tells us God is love. And so, I would submit to you today that love ultimately comes from God. And if love comes from God, then we're going to have to look to God to truly understand what love is. And the Bible tells us, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So God loves this world. He loves the people in this world. He loves it so much that he has done something to show us his love. The Bible says in Romans 5, 8, God commendeth his love toward us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. God is, is showing us, he is, he is commending this love. He is, he is putting it out there for us to see. He says, if you want to know how much I love you, I gave you my son. And I gave you my son as a sacrifice for your sins. And so in John 15, verse 9, Jesus says, As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. And so we receive this love of God through the Lord Jesus Christ. And then he says, I've, I've showed you this. The Father loved the Son. How much does the Father love the Son? Well, uh, infinitely, as much as there is. And he says, I've loved you in the same way, and I want you to continue in that. So, so first and foremost, God wants for us to know that he loves us. But if we think about that for just a minute, and we go to John chapter 17 and verse 26. Jesus says this, And I have declared unto them thy name. Jesus came so we could know God. He's declared unto us the name of God, who God truly is. And he says, And I will declare it, that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them, and I in them. Not only does God love us, not only does Jesus commend the love of God to us in his sacrifice, in his life, in his ministry, but he wants for the love that the Father has for the Son to be in us. How much love is that? What's well, all of it? <laughs> it's, it's infinite. It's, it's unending. And for Christ to be in us, Colossians 1.27, Christ in you, the hope of glory. And so I just want to encourage you this morning. If you know Jesus, then you can know love because God is love and, and he, he can be in you. And, and then, then you and I, we can share the love that God has with others. It doesn't come from us. We don't generate it. We don't drum it up. We receive it first from God. We learn about what love truly is from God. And then we can share that love with others. And Jesus says, by this shall all men know that you are my disciples, by the love that you have one for another. As a follower of Jesus, we are the people who love God, and who love other people. God bless you. Have a great day.